Hi, my name is David Buer. I'm a product manager with Leviton Manufacturing. Today we're going to walk you through the software update process on an 8700 series console. Now, there's two primary ways to update software on an 8700 console, either across Ethernet or from a USB stick. Uh, I'm going to pick uh, a USB stick method today because I do not have my console on an Ethernet network. So, before this moment, what I've done is I've gone to my computer and I've gone to the Leviton website, www.leviton.com. I navigated to Products, Entertainment Theatrical Consoles, and found the 8700 page. On the 8700 page, underneath uh, Software Updates or Downloads, I found the current software version for my console. Now when I look at that page, I'm going to note that there's a software update for a GS, a GL, or a GX console. Now the model I have here is a GX, but if you don't know, you can simply look for the product ID tag on the console. You'll see it in the other upper left-hand corner on the touring models, or in the other models, it's in the bottom right-hand corner, and it'll say GL, GS, or GX. That's the software update you want to download. Now you'll download it in zip file format. Go ahead and put that on your desktop or other appropriate location. Once downloaded, extract the files into the directory of your choice. In the extracted files, you're going to find an exe file called install software update or install update, something along those lines. Double click that file to execute it. It's then going to copy all of the files to either the ethernet card or in my case a USB stick uh, to prepare them for update. So I go to the file menu, choose update via USB. Then I type in the drive letter of the USB stick that I want the files to copy to. On my computer I typed in D. So I push the D button, it prepares the USB stick for the software update and my USB stick's now ready to go. I then power off my console, put the USB stick into the back of the console and power it up. That then gets me to the typical show screen. Now, before you go any further, what you should do is you should save your show file to your hard disk. To do that, you push the menu key, pick option 10 for disk, find a new file, and hit option 2 followed by enter for save. It's then going to write the show file to your hard disk. That protects whatever is currently loaded in the console from getting harmed during the update. For an added layer of protection, you also should copy all of your files off the hard disk onto a USB stick or other medium so you have them for a little bit more permanent backup. You do that through menu option 79 file tools. Check out our video on that and we'll walk you through that process and how it works. So once all of that's complete, you can proceed with the software update process. To do that, you hit menu, pick option 79 for tools and software updates. I see underneath software updates, I have option 4 is console update from USB disk. So I hit option 4. It's now going through and searching all the files on the disk and it says update to version 3.34. That happens to be the software release that I downloaded from the website. You can press enter for yes or the right arrow for no. I'm going to hit enter for yes. It's now going through the process of deleting the old system files, copying the new files, and once all of that's complete, it's going to go through a reset process. Now you can see here on the screen, it gives you a status of everything that's going on. Uh, at this moment, I can see where it deleted the current software, it updated the CPU, uh, and it's now programming all, of, programming all of the remote modules in the console. This is only going to take a few seconds here. Um, I can see it's completed that. Um, it now says update is okay, performing an automatic reset. That means it's going to reinitialize all of the internal memory of the console. Once that's complete, it's going to go back through the boot process and load the default file. Now, the default file may come up blank. It's frequently what happens during a software update. So we're going to go load the software file that we saved on the disk. Uh, so we can see it's now located that, loaded that file. I'm going to go back to menu option 10. It's going to show me all the files on my disk. I'm going to find the one here that I saved. Hit load all. It's loading the show from the disk. Now it gave me a warning that there was a different configuration and it had to update the file. 
depending on what software release you're updating from and to, sometimes you may see that and sometimes you don't. Uh, now I'm seeing the confirmation of load screen. I've got the show loaded, I'm good to go. So that's how you do a software update on an 8700 series consoles. For additional information on the update process or on the other methods of update like updating over Ethernet, please refer to the support materials on our website.